It all started when I walked into the strip club in West Hollywood. And across the strip club, I saw Sam. <laughs> I'm move, moving stuff around, moving, there we go, right, move that back here. Where's my drink? All right, right here, is this the frame? This is the frame, get my fire going. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your <coughs> What's my voice f***ing gone? Ah, I can do this, you can do this, you can do this. <clears throat> hey, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your favorite dad, Kevin, aka Sugar K. Ha, nailed it, and welcome back to my channel, I already said that. I'm hype, I'm hype. It's not drugs, it's actually pre-workout. I don't know why I'm drinking pre-workout at night. It, it, it doesn't matter. Y'all see my fire? I got fire in the back of this bitch. Y'all see that? Some real sh Anyways, so I posted, yo it's hot, I'm not wearing this jacket this whole goddamn video. I'm gonna take this off, let my muscles breathe. Jackie, here. There's nobody there. I just I just made that up. There's nobody. No, no, I don't even know. I don't even know anybody called Jackie. I made a post a while back that was like, yo, do you guys want me to start telling stories? Like how I met Sam and Colby or how I dealt with my bullies in middle school. And I was like, yo, if this gets 4,000 likes, I'll tell some stories. Well, that got like 5,000 likes. It was mostly because Sam and Colby's name were in it, but you know. I, I knew what I was doing. So, this is the story of how I met my best friends, Sam and Colby. Well, but they're not, my, I have like four, I have like five best friends. They're, they're two of my best friends. They're not the only best friends. That, this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. This is the story of how I met two of my best friends, Sam and Colby. Okay, first of all, how fire was that intro music? Can we just talk about that? I took the How I Met Your Mother intro and turned it into the How I Met Sam and Cole. That's that, that's, that right there should make you like the video. Matter of fact, let's get this video to 5,000 likes. While you like it, go ahead and go a little bit further down and subscribe to my channel. Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss out on uploading a new video. And comment below what other stories I should tell. I got some cool stories I want to tell. I'm really enjoying this. This me sitting down and telling you guys some stories. I want every story to be something that you guys can laugh about, hang out with me, talk with me me and by the end maybe take something away from it maybe there's a lesson there's always a lesson there so today we're gonna talk about my two good friends Sam Goldbach and Colby Brock it all started when I walked into the strip club in West Hollywood and across the strip club I saw Sam <laughs> I'm joking I'm joking Am I? <laughs> Just joking. So anyway, I moved into this house with four of my friends. We had this housewarming party and Ari's like, yo, can I invite my friend Sam and Colby? I said, yo, I don't know who, who, these, who these people are. Uh, live your best life. I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have burped. That's just disgusting. Well, it's, 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 it's not disgusting. It's, it's, a not, it's the body's natural response to gas in your stomach. We have to party, everything's great, everything's fun. And Ari goes, hey, you should meet my friends, Sam and Colby, they're here. Sure, so they're always together. Like, it, he always said Sam and Colby. He never said, yo, yo, should meet my friend Colby. Hey, you should meet my friend Sam. It was always like, you should meet Sam and Colby. I'm like, are these, are these mother always together? Are they like do they ever detach? Why is it always Sam and Colby? What? Why don't we say Colby and Sam sometimes? Yo, we're going to Colby and Sam's house. That's a sounds. That sounds weird, though. Yo, I'm gonna go hang out with Sam and Colby. Yo, I'm gonna hang out with Colby and Sam. Ugh. 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 That just sounds weird. That just that doesn't sound right. I get it now. Now I get it. At the time, I thought it was weird. Now I get it. So I meet these two kids, and they're super nice. I didn't know who they were. Keep in mind, I don't know who these people are. I talked to Kobe for like 10 minutes, extremely welcoming, to the point where he asked for my number and said we should hang out. I was like, oh my god, yeah, of course, absolutely. These guys were super, super nice, super sweet. They're two kids in LA, they're, they're pretty cool. Nothing, nothing too crazy. And then Sam looks at me and he goes, hey, you should come to one of our parties one day. <laughs> what, what are you? <laughs> what are you guys like 15? What do you what do you mean one of your one of your parties? You guys y'all y'all party? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, what is this? Is that your mom's house? <laughs> Come to one of our parties. Can y'all even drink? Clearly I was wrong. I I, I had made a mistake. These people know how to party. Not only do they know how to party, <laughs> they made me feel like, like I didn't know how to party. I, 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 I I'm a bitch. I remember walking into the house and being like, who's paying for this shit? I mean, who is paying for this shit? How many bedrooms? They live with their parents? What? No? It's just, it's just them. The, the five? Five kids? They live here. They, live, they they pay for everything. They're paying their rent. Okay, who, who, who the f*** are these kids? What the f*** 
fuck did they do? I didn't even realize how popular these kids were till like a couple weeks or a month later. I watched one of their YouTube videos. I realized, oh my god, these guys are like huge. But they never made you feel like that. I literally felt like I was hanging out with my friends. I felt like we were just, me and my friends just f***ing around. Now, of course, our relationship kind of grew over time, right? I'd go over there to party sometimes, or they'd come over to the house and hang out. And eventually, we kind of just all formed this new friend group. I still remember the first video I ever made with Colby. It was an Alexa prank on his roommates, which is crazy. I had like 15,000 subscribers at the time. He had over a million. I mean, that right there speaks for itself. Now, I don't know any other YouTubers who have millions of subs collaborating with YouTubers who have 15,000. That'd be like if Jay-Z called me and was like, yo, I want you on this song. And I'd be like, yo. Are you on drugs? But with our friend group, it never feels like that. It never feels like someone's got more than the other person. It just feels like, yo, what can you bring to the table? Are you funny? Are you willing to help? Do you want to bring value? And if you can, that's all that matters. We're all friends first. The rest is secondary. And the fact that it's always been like that and always will be like that is one of the biggest reasons why I love my friends. All that matters is that we were making videos with our friends. That's all we care about. And then from there, we all just kept making videos together. Eventually, we all became best friends. We all hung out more and more. We took trips together. And it it all started with that house roaming party that I never knew would change my life forever and give me the best friends I ever had. I thought this was gonna be long, but it's been not that long. I mean, that's all it is. We pretty much met at this house party. Tell you what, it was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Anyways, that's how I met Sam and Colby. I might start posting on Wednesdays now. Maybe I'll do story times on Wednesdays or a vlog on Wednesdays and then the regular video on Saturdays. Also, for season two of Exposed, here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna re-expose everybody again, but I'm gonna have everyone hooked up to a lie detector. How sick is that? Exposed season two, lie detector edition. If this video gets 5,000 likes, I will do season two of Exposed and have everyone hooked up to lie detectors. And I'm gonna have you guys pick some of the questions this time. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna, it's gonna be insane. To wrap it up, the lesson I want you guys to take away from this is simple. Surround yourself with positive people and you will be a positive person. I finally found a group of friends that are amazing. I've surrounded myself with the most amazing, talented, hardworking, and kindest people I could find and it's motivated me to be better not just on YouTube but as a person as a friend and most importantly as a dad <laughs> if you have someone you really care about if you have someone that's making an impact of your life if your friends make you happy all the time remind them every day that they mean the world to you and you're happy to have them I can't describe how happy I am to have Sam and Colby in my life one of the two best friends I've ever had that made my life better not just on social media but also as a person anyways I love you guys and I love you Sam and I love you Colby and I love myself because I am Awesome. Anyways, that being said, that is the end of my story. That is my lesson. That is the updates. Make sure this gets 5,000 likes. Share this video. Let me know if you like the stories. If you want more stories. Sorry for the short video. I'm, I'm traveling a lot, but I didn't want to leave you guys without a video, so that's why I did it. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notifications. Blah, 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 blah. You know the goddamn drill. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Just do this. Y'all still see my fire? That shit's fire. Literally. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs>